À seulement 20 ans, Mondo Duplantis est considéré comme le prodige du saut à la perche. En février dernier, il a battu le record du monde de la discipline en franchissant une barre à 6,18 m. Un résultat qui aurait pu présager de belles choses aux Jeux Olympiques de Tokyo. Le perchiste est l'une des têtes d'affiche du meeting Hercules cette année. Il est avec nous ce soir depuis le stade Louis de Good evening, Mondo Duplantis. Good evening. Are you ready for Hercules? How is your shape? I feel good. No, I'm starting to feel good, and uh, you know, here in Monaco, it's a fantastic place to jump because you know the weather is almost always good. We have a nice wind, and um, yeah, it's just a really nice setup, and it's a good time of the year. I feel like I'm starting to get into some pretty good shape. In the beginning of the year, it was a little bit tougher because you know of the whole pandemic and everything. It was a little tough to train, but past month and a half or so, I've been able to train well, so I feel good for tonight. How did you train during the lockdown? Is it true that you have a pole vault pit in your backyard? Yeah, exactly. When I was in uh, Louisiana in the United States, from March almost all the way to May, I was in my parents' backyard starting to pole vault where, where just where I started to pole vault. And so, um, yeah, that, that's, that was consisted of two months of, of lockdown, it was just training in my backyard. But the past, couple months in Sweden where I lived the other half of the year, I've been able to train pretty normally, I would say. But, you know, in the beginning of it, it was a little tough. It was just backyard jumping. But now you are ready. And you did a, a garden clash with other Paul Voltman, Renaud Lavilleni and, uh, and Sam Kendricks, right? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, and it was just something fun that Renaud came up with. And we didn't really have anything to do at that time. Uh, everything was really uncertain on what, what competitions we were going to have. Mm -hmm. And so uh, Renaud came up with the idea and asked me and Sam if we were interested. And I said, absolutely, because it was something to do, something to you know, look forward to because it was just such a crazy time then. So, um, yeah, it was just something fun that we came up with, a little competition when a time where we didn't really have much else to do. And Sam will compete tomorrow, Renaud's brothers too, Valentin, La Villenie. Uh, what do you expect for tomorrow? I think it's. I think it should be a great competition. Mm -hmm. Like I said, it's a it's a great place to jump. So the results here always seem to be really good, especially in my event in Povo. And um, we have great competitors. We have yeah, you know, we have Valentin, we have Ben Broders, we have Sam here, of course. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I think that these guys are. You know, we've been starving to jump. Mm -hmm. We're starving to compete against each other because it's been a long time. And so I think we're all really excited to compete each other compete against each other again, and we're going to bring our, our A game. And you break the world we called last February. Uh, do you think it's possible to do something in Monaco, or is it too early to, to talk about that? Maybe a little early, but uh, I, I feel good. I feel like I can, I can jump well. Uh, you know, to jump the world record, you have to be jumping not really, not only well, you have to be jumping pretty close to perfect. So world record, I don't know, but I feel, I feel good enough to jump, jump something high. There will be less spectators this year. Um, are there an important support for you? Yeah, but I mean, the past competitions that I've competed in in Sweden, we had no spectators. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's it's something. It's something. Uh, you know, it's it's better to have just half rather than having nobody. Mm -hmm. So, I'm I'm really excited about that, and I, I'm really glad that you figured out a way to to put spectators in the seats. So uh, that'll be really exciting, and uh, you know, start feeling more like a more real competition, I would say. So we wish you good luck for tomorrow, Mondo. Thanks for being with us. I appreciate it. Thank you for having me.